hello everyone from today onwards we will be starting with digital filters right but before moving to digital filters we must know a few differences between digital and analog filters or we will compare digital and analog filters right you will find many applications where digital filters prove to be superior than analog ones but it does not mean that analog are obsolete all right they have their vast area of applications and we must know that filters are considered to be most powerful tools in any communication system let us start our discussion further and so very first thing is high accuracy of digital filters whereas analog filters offers less accuracy and that is due to the component tolerances right you know uh, for analog filters we generally use capacitors inductors and resistor type elements okay but for digital filters it comes in ic packages all right this gives an edge to digital filters over analog filters in digital filters the characteristics like amplitude and phase they are calculated in similar way as we were calculating for analog filters all right but the key difference is that instead of calculating all these values i mean the values of capacitor inductor and resistor all the time we just calculate for the coefficient values in digital filters correct in digital filters the physical quantities like resistor inductor and capacitor are replaced by numbers and these numbers reside in memory as filter coefficients this means that we will be dealing with only software part in digital filters instead of dealing with hardware all the time therefore we can say these virtual components offers high accuracy if compared with these parts these hardware things let us consider a case when your signal is added with noise right the yellow lines which you can see in this uh, waveform is the clean signal and the green one is the noise superimposed on your signal now let us observe the effect of non-linear and linear filtering on this signal as you can see in this picture this yellow is uh, the clean signal and this one we have obtained after applying non-linear filtering now you can notice a huge phase difference between these two values the original one and the uh, signal received after filtering this hardly tracks the original information all right now let us consider a scenario where we are doing physiological analysis right and we have defined this waveform as my reference for healthy person but after non linear filtering i'm getting this right which is completely different from my reference one this may make health experts think that there is some problem with the patient all right now let us come to this graph here you can observe that uh, the pink graph is for non linear that we have already seen now for linear filter we have this one right which is exactly following the curve of your input signal right we, which we can uh, see in above picture here you can say that uh, the phase is linear with signal phase this behavior actually makes these linear filters applicable or useful for applications such as medical applications communications and where we need to control some signal some device some machine some designing operation right and next is no drift due to component variation right obviously we don't have any physical components we store the values of resistance capacitance and inductance in form of in form of numbers right on some memory okay these are called the coefficients we have already discussed that right and here your component uh, parameters may vary as per uh, the climatic conditions environment conditions and several other conditions they can affect these right next is flexible adaptive filtering possible in case of digital filters whereas it is difficult in case of non uh, analog filters right we know all the components are stored in a digitized form right therefore the characteristics of digital filters can be easily changed under software control all right and that too without making any hardware changes this makes these filters widely adaptive for several applications wherein for these filters every time uh, whenever we need to change some filter parameters will have to change certain elements components physical components okay that uh, that becomes too tedious all right and definitely there is ease 
for simulation and design of digital filters whereas they can also be simulated but it is quite difficult in comparison to digital filters all right in next two points you can say these are the limitations of digital filters over analog filters right to better understand that let us consider a block diagram herein you can see if we uh, want our digital filters to be implemented then your signal the analog signal needs to be converted to digital form first using adc right and analog to digital conversion requires sampling of analog signal right and this must not exceed the nyquist rate of sampling that is sampling frequency must be greater than or equal to twice of maximum frequency right or you can say the maximum frequency of signal must not exceed the value fs by 2 right and this is usually done using anti-aliasing filters these are usually low pass filters all right for convenience of understanding we can consider an example of uh, human eye and moving wheel as you can see on screen that there are two wheels right they are uh, actually moving all right now first wheel is moving slowly right so we can easily trace uh, the direction of mo motion of this wheel all right actually the human eye is a good sampler it can sample images videos all right now when the, the wheel is moving slowly it can easily sample the things right but as we increase the speed of the wheel right so your perceived motion will look like this all right opposite of direction of wheel this actually is happening because your human eye cannot sample this fast right that means the actual frequency of rotation of this wheel is less than the sampling frequency of i or equal to sampling frequency of i but for wheel number two where it is moving with high frequency high uh, speed right so actual frequency of rotation is much much higher than the sampling frequency all right sampling frequency of i for second wheel you can observe two different frequencies of rotation one is this one which is the actual frequency of rotation and another one is this one which is the perceived motion or you can say uh, which your human eye can observe so this we can call as alias right and this is the actual frequency or actual value similar thi thing we can observe in case of signals all right see this is my original signal that is 9 kilohertz which you can see in blue right and uh, we are sampling this signal at rate of 1 microsecond right so we'll be getting this sample this sample this sample means the samples proportional to the amplitude of signal at that particular point all right which is being shown with white dots and when we combine these white dots a new waveform is formed which you can see as yellow uh, in color and this uh, yellow colored waveform is nothing but the alias right in, in time domain it is like this and in frequency domain it will be like this one shown over here right so this is spectrum representation a frequency representation of the same signal right here's my uh, signal with 900 kilohertz original signal all right its frequency is fn right it is placed here and you can notice that this frequency is much much higher than this frequency that is the sampling frequency now if we correlate this with a wagon wheel effect with which we just seen right so it will result alias it will produce some alias which can be seen in yellow color right and these are the unwanted things which we need to remove uh, before processing to digital form right for removal of such aliases we use analog anti-aliasing filters right and this filtered signal is fed to adc for digital conversion that can be processed through digital filters then right and also at output stage you can notice uh, there is some digital to analog converter right and again this analog in, uh, information is processed for anti-imaging right that is again a filter and is analog in nature all right and this whole process makes this uh, quite bulkier the next point is it requires adc dac and dsp circuitries right or ic's you can say but in analog filters no such requirement is there all right we have already the diagram block diagram all right so you require adc dac and dsp processors for digital signal processing right but those will not be required for analog filtering so that is an advantage of analog over uh, digital right this is just to give an idea about analog and digital filters all right with this note i would like to close the lecture thank you